Okay, what we want to do here is to configure for stateless auto configuration a router for uh, EUI64. I want to drag over a little article and go through it on EUI64. What is it? Uh, Cisco uses the EUI64 format uh, to perform stateless auto configuration of hosts stands for Extended Unique Identifier, a uh, process of obtaining an IPv6 address automatically does not make use of DHCP. So we're not using the DHCP server, and again, we'll do that when we talk about uh, the, D the IPv4 utilities. There is a DHCP for IPv4 and IPv6. It uses, uh, there is an IPv6 service. Uh, which is supported by the Cisco. Stateless auto configuration is an alternate way for IPv6 addresses to be assigned to hosts automatically. And this is this is one where we're actually are going to uh, specify a EUI64 when we do it. Common form of stateless uh, auto configuration copies the host MAC address and expands the 48-bit number to 64 bits by adding the FFFE uh, in the middle with the middle 16 bits here. Uh, if the chosen interface identifier is globally unique as an Ethernet MAC is, the universal local bit called the U-bit, the universal local bit down here is going to be changed to a one which is then going to start the address uh, with a two so zero two in this case nine zero uh, u bit uh, to one for global scope is set to zero for local scope uh, when the addresses are constructed with an interface identifiers uh, that are not guaranteed to be globally unique and address with a local scope should be should not be routed to the internet. Uh, 64 bits form this way form the lower half, the host half of the 128 bit address. So we start out with the 48 bit MAC uh, and then uh, we look at the U bit and, and the U bit in the uh, in here 8 bits going to be 0 2 uh, using our one two four eight one two four eight four hexadecimal, uh, so it will be a two zero two is what we're going to start with. So with that, I've got one I'm configured here. What I want to do is go in and uh, configure this interface here FA zero zero, and we're going to make up some stuff obviously as we do this. Okay, so click on this, and I did that, and there it is. It, it went on the other screen, and then it it is it is R2 router two. So what we're going to do, and I know we haven't talked about at this point in the course uh, Cisco configuration, but just bear with me, and we you will learn these commands. We're going to go to enable mode. Uh, which allows us to then get into configuration mode. Configure terminal. One of the things that we have to do with Cisco routers is turn on IPv6 routing with the in the config mode, and you and, and you know it's config mode because it says config right here. IPv6 unicast routing. So we'll turn it on, and then we'll go to interface, interface fast Ethernet zero zero because that's the one that is connected to our host out there. Uh, then we'll do IPv6 address and we'll just use one we'll FA00 colon 1 colon colon forward slash 64 64 and then I'll type EUI64 Okay, and then IP, IPv6, 
we have to enable IPv6 on. Then we really need to give it the no shutdown command to bring the interface up. OIP interface, let's see, IPv6. When you're doing these commands and after we get into the uh, using the configurations, anytime you do IPv6, you have to specify IPv6. If you say IP, it's just going to be IPv4. So we can now look at the Fast Ethernet 00, zero on the two interfaces that are up. And I had previously done the serial. We have an FE80, a link local address on these. But on this one, I FA00, zero zero, and then I use one. And then using the, uh, the two here, uh, two zero zero C and then C and then we have the uh, and this would this would be the uh, Cisco and zero and we put the FFFE in the middle here three one a two zero one to get the address it's going to be a little bit easier to see in the uh, in the uh, device that we're going to do so we have now given it or, or had it give itself and I jump, jumped up and down, and it's got FFFE in the, uh, the wrong one, the FA00. FFFE is in it also. If we go to our computer here, and let's do an IP config all. We don't have any addresses. We do have a MAC address 002 on down the line. So what we're going to do is go into it and go down here and configure it for auto config simulator. We immediately get an address. So if we can go back to the desktop. Uh, let's do IP config if I can spell. IP config and let's see the six work on that. No IP config. Well. Okay, let's try a different IPv6 not config, not IP config v6. IPv6 config. Finally get there. So we have Default gateway, which should be the address of uh, the, and we'll look at that. The default gateway should be the uh, address, the link local address of the router. We have our FE80 colon, uh, colon, colon, 200 CE. You have the FFFE uh, that's uh, configured in here, the link local address up here similar thing if we do an IP config oh we should be able to see the IPv6 address as well as the MAC address so we have a 00, zero so we know that we're going to have a 2 in there so FE FA001 zero, zero, 202 202 so we have the 202 and then we have a 1 6 and then one then we insert our FFFE 526E39 so we've used the MAC address in order to create a uh, an IPv6 address if I go back to this guy Let's see, FEA0, A201, and I don't try to remember, FE31, A201. Let's see if that is, in fact, the default gateway. Let's see, link local. Where did it go? The default gateway was here, the default gateway, the FE31, A201. So it is using the uh, link local address as the uh, default gateway so a uh, not so quick and pretty dirty but a uh, configuration using the EUI 
64 address to uh, automatically give IP addresses uh, to the hosts that would be on our uh, network.